Back here on MLB Now, Brian Kenny with Dan O'Dowd and Hannah Kaiser. Here's what the Dodgers have been doing lately. And take a look at the numbers. These numbers are not good. By the way, they're getting Lance Lynn and Joe Kelly. Lynn with a 6.47 ERA. Joe Kelly, a 4.91. Ahmed Rosario, negative 14 defensive runs saved. He was plus last year, but down this year, 91. Everything's based on the OPS plus on 100 being league average. So Kike Hernandez, Rosario, Dan O'Dowd, useful guys. But below league, there's a lot of below league average there. Uh, we talk about the Dodgers being a model organization, probably the smartest out there. There's other contenders. What are they doing? Well, for me, again, I think what Andrew does, because I, I know what he does, he looks at three-year uh, three year increment numbers, not one-year numbers. Number two, I think they look past the, the top line of stats and look at some things about Lance Lynn and his peripherals that say he's worth the risk. Um, Batting average of ball on play, league average 295. He's at 324. That'll normalize. His fly ball rate will normalize. And I think they look at say, PK, we don't expect him to start game one, two of playoff. Mm -hmm. We've got to get in the playoffs, and we need the innings. Yeah. And we're 24th in, in innings pitch out of our starting pitchers. And we need innings. With Joe Kelly, he's throwing 99 miles an hour. They don't have anybody in their bullpen throwing 99 miles an hour, and his strikeout rate is over 12. Mm -hmm. So the K rate for both is good. Yeah, I think their walk rates got to get better. His home run rates with Lynn doesn't concern me as much as his walk rates. This is what we used, you know what's funny? This is what we used to call the peripherals back in the old days. I don't know if you were around for the old days. We called the peripherals until the peripherals became the main numbers. And at some point, no, your main numbers got to be kind of the main numbers. You're giving up a ton of runs. Or am I wrong on that? Well, they do need <laughs> innings. And there isn't a ton of starting pitching available. I mean, that's the thing. Everyone who's contending thinks they need at least another starter, if not two, like the Rangers went out and got. And you're right. I mean, Dan mentioned 24th in innings out of their starter. They were 11th last year, and that was when they had a much better <laughs> starting rotation. Last year, they had the best rotation ERA and the second best bullpen ERA in baseball. This year, that's 25th and 22nd. So they need to do something. They, they, they're the Dodgers. They, they have, I think yep. I can fix him. I, and I, I think guess. they moved early here knowing that, you know, this is not the last thing they want to do. With the other, the mm -hmm. two bats they added, they're really good against left-hand pitching. And Kiki is unbelievable. He's already played first, second, center. I mean, he's already. They know him. They field. love him. He's been there. Um, I'll say this. I didn't think Jason Hayward had much left in him. He's done well. The Cubs basically just cut it like, look, just go, retire, go away. He's got 340 on base, slugging 461, can still hold it down defensively. Yeah. So I they've mean, reclaimed him. Yeah, and they're using him mostly against right-hand pitching. I mean, this has been a transition year for the Dodger. They have mm -hmm. star players, but they're transitioning to their next star team. And I think they're trying to understand where they're at in their process. Again, grand strategy. Do we like the Dodgers? I don't think I've asked you that. I've always touted it and said, grand strategy, you can't keep your foot on the accelerator. Do you like what the Dodgers are doing or no? What do you mean in terms of trying to take a small step back while Correct. still contending? Let people develop. Let's let three rookies play. Yeah. Let's not hit the free agent market as hard as we normally do. I mean, I think it would have worked better if Gavin Lux hadn't gotten hurt. But the way, but I think you're right. They, they, they like their ability to sort of platoon their way through maybe not having stars mm -hmm. at certain positions. And that makes a lot of sense. They have Miguel Rojas playing short right now. And that means that they are doing well defensively, but not well offensively at that position. They're third in defensive runs saved at shortstop among all baseball sort of teams. Mm -hmm. But that's a lot due to Rojas. But they're 25th in WRC plus at the position. So, right, they need to figure out a way to get a little bit more offense out mm -hmm. of shortstops without sacrificing you know, the defense. And honestly, I don't know how you do that. You can't have them trade off innings. But I think the other thing they come to realization, it's great to build a 100 win teams, it's unaffordable to continue to build 100 win teams. Right. 111 win teams, too. 111. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they're trying to figure out this model. Can we win between 92 and 100 games, get ourselves into postseason, right. and then have a sustainable model that we're not paying exorbitant luxury, luxury tax, tax fees every single year? You know, I think one, you have to let it happen organically. I think that's what happened to the Mets and Padres a little bit when you try to force it Great. because you have money. And also, uh, I think they got stung a little bit last year when they had 111 wins and they couldn't win a postseason series. Correct. They just thought, what, what are we doing all this for? We win 93, 94 and get in. Tough to do. Well, you that's know, the thing. Tricky, are, but can you I, can do it. Can I ask you a very non-MLB Now-ish type question? Maybe. If you're a Dodgers fan, wouldn't you be like kind of bummed if this is the year they win the World Series when they have the less exciting team and not last year? Right, and no one will care. Right, and no one will care. Because I, I think... Overall, Andrew Friedman's plan was, hey, you know, we're not always going to push all in, but we're going to be excellent over that five to ten year period, which they have been. So I think a Dodger fan is doing just fine. Oh, we're not we're not <laughs> worried about them and their lack of star power. We're like, oh, they're no. And then next the year they fuel back in. Uh, yeah, who should be in? Another who should be one. out. We got, what was that? Sorry, I said rotation. I meant lineup. Sorry. Yeah, 